Welcome to another episode of Unique Trail Adventures. What do we got here? Bah, I gotta help my buddy out. He's had problems with this bad boy. So, let's bring it out. Standard AX3 axle remote control with, what's this? A worn winch control. Yes. Well, it's not an axle product. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's check out what we got here. Bam. What is this beast? Some people might not recognize this. It's not beach. Well folks, this is an RC four wheel drive right there. Timberwolf. So what do we got here? Timberwolf is a full steel roll cage, kind of along the lines of a wraith. Pretty nice looking rig. This one's got the G body. Let's check out what's underneath the hood. Let's take off the body pins and the front part body of this comes off. Another clip here, body clip on the side. So, it looks like, I'm not sure if these are actual, um, the way body pins came from the Timberwolf kit, but it looks like just zip ties that are kind of bent to go in through the body. I'd have to do more research. I don't know a whole lot about this rig, but for what's underneath the hood, we've got right here, it looks like the standard, uh, yeah, that looks like a standard. RC4 wheel drive ESC with an axial receiver since we've got an axial remote right here that my buddy's using with it along with this Warren winch controller with a fair lead up front here. So here's our Warren winch and it looks like it's got one of the King Kong the big hooks up front here. So we're going to be controlling that from the separate Warren winch control and so over here we've got the ESC and he's using a Traxxas plug here it looks like. Um, I might have to fix that. It doesn't look like it's positioned very well and these tabs should be all the way up pretty flush to the tips of the connector so I'm gonna have to revisit that. Uh, check to make sure these. I might have to dip this again and make sure it's sealed to make sure it's waterproof there. Tronics there. Battery looks like we can put the battery here, maybe a three cell or two cell battery up front here. So, uh, right off the bat, I had to make some adjustments because it was pretty high up, sitting pretty high. I had to lower that just so we would get a better stance. There were some flaws out of the kit for RC four wheel drive on this right off the get go. So it did need some upgrades and this is far from uh, trail worthy right now I'm gonna have to do a bunch of a bunch of repairs on this to get it going so underneath here for the rear end it still has the stock RC4 will drive axle that it comes with. I believe it does come with these axles as it comes with aren't normally that wide but for this rig it needed to have the wider stance. From what my buddy tells me is that right off the get-go when he hit the trails with this rig right up front here from the get-go right up front here the factory axle that RC four wheel drive came with. He said he got on the trails and as he got going, the gear started meshing and broke the axle right off the bat. So I don't know if it was a bad design, which that's definitely plausible or whatever the circumstances were, it just shredded. So he's replaced the front axle with this uh, SCX 10 axle. Um, I love the details on the stock axle that it came with and though if I'm most likely not going to get that maybe I can get one of the new SEX 10 2 axle for a front so that it would have a more scale look 
um, or maybe even a wraith axle. I'll have to look at the widths and see how the width of that will come into play. Um, but some of the problems I see on here, right underneath here, the mount that attaches the upper links onto the axle, it looks like it was a repair job. It's loose in there, so the axle, it, it's, if you see that, it, you should not get that movement side to side. So you're not gonna get good traction and good balance on the trails, which if you're side hilling, that could make you topple over and all kinds of problems. There are some nice upgrades on this axle. We've got some aluminum bits, aluminum knuckles and C-hubs. So uh, it should be fairly strong, especially with these bigger 2.2 tires. These stock tires are fairly stiff, so I imagine I'd be swapping out these tires for some better ones. However, I'll probably hit the trails and get them to try out once I get this running again. Again, I've adjusted these shocks so they're um, all the way up, so that way I can get some better droop set up on it. I didn't need, it doesn't need to be very high, otherwise it'll have a higher. Uh, so. I'll have to reposition the axle as it sits right now. The axles are uh, the drive shafts since they're nice and metal and definitely very beefy. It is at a good angle so we don't get a lot of high angle on these um, on the drive shafts. However, it makes these front uh, knuckle C hubs set up pointing into a so I know it's kind of hard to see that, but these axles with the knuckles here, it kind of goes, I believe that's a negative one, which would, should clock the knuckles back that way. So that way when the wheels turn, when it's wheeling, you'd get a better angle. Right now it's kind of tilted forward, and which makes these point forward as far as the drag link goes. Um, so in any case, I might have to create a new custom links so I would have that bump so it doesn't hit the axle so we get some better turning radius on there. I'm definitely going to need to get a metal or aluminum uh, servo arm here and I'll have to double check the functionality of this servo to make sure it's still good and intact. So it does definitely need some work. Um, I like these steel wheels. Um, so we'll see what we've got going so far. Either I'm going to replace this whole axle or maybe modify it. So if I can get, um, most likely I'm going to get a four link um, mount for up here. I don't know if I'm going to go with a chassis mounted uh, servo setup for it or stick with this That's uh, that's got the servo mounted on the axle. So I'll have to revisit that and see what my options are gonna be. So inside underneath, you can see in there, we've got the 45 turn RC four wheel drive brushed motor. So of course, this is going to be a brushed ESC from RC four wheel drive. And inside there is one of the older transmissions. Looks pretty beefy size. I, I'm not too sure which transmission that is, but it's a, bigger, maybe older version of uh, some of the more current ones. Um, if it is beefy, in fact, I'm definitely going to keep that until it gives out since this rig is got some heft and weight to it since it's all steel tubing. So we'll see how it goes. I definitely have some work to get done on this rig. What do you think? Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it in the description box below. So if you've got any tips for viewers out there on any mods or what should be done to this rig, any suggestions on, on any fixes, please leave comments in the description box below. It will definitely help me out and help viewers out there. Again, uh, if you like this video, if you like this rig, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate all the help that we can get. This is the RC four wheel drive Timberwolf. Hopefully I can get this out on the trails out soon and get it going. Let me know what you think. You like the rig? It's a nice looking rig. It does need some TLC and some loving to get it back out on the trails and running.